Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another anniversary update feature. We're going to take a look at the Microsoft Edge browser extensions. This is brand new in Microsoft Edge. So Microsoft Edge browser, a lot of people were complaining, no extensions, I'm not using it. They're here and here's how you get the extensions and uh, how to activate them or stop the extensions depending on what you want to do. So for example, you just start your Microsoft Edge browser now in the anniversary update. And by the way, if you're not an insider, uh, don't search for them right now on your regular Windows 10. This is coming on August 2nd in the anniversary update. So you go into the little three dots on the upper right corner of your browser, and here you got extensions. Now you see that I have some extensions installed. Some They're all off right now because I'm testing a little bit. You get extensions by clicking Get Extensions from the store. It opens the store directly to the extensions page. So all you have to do is go through the extensions and check out what you want to install. Now, this is what we have right now. Um, there, there's going to be a lot more extensions. So don't worry about it. If your favorite extension is not there yet, it's eventually going to be there. One of the very popular ones is, by the way, Adblock, Adblock Plus. So all you have to do is simply to click on the extension itself that you want to have and click the free button or install button and it's going to install automatically and be available in Edge. So once it's installed, you've got different options. So say I look at the translator for Microsoft Edge that I have installed here. So of course you can turn it on or off, if I turn it on. And often you have an options button, so it's gonna give you different options. So for example, here the translator for Microsoft Edge will translate in English. So um, you can even put a little check mark here. Always translate foreign websites without asking. This is gonna be interesting. So you see I've turned it on right now. Let's well, sh shut down Edge, turn it back on. I'm gonna to go to a uh, French language page that I usually go to read. And here we go. So when you're on a page that is not in the native language, you see here on the upper right corner, there's that extension, it shows. And look at this, it's just took the page and now it's in English was in French a few uh, a few seconds ago. So automatic translate, basically. So any types of extensions, uh, LastPass, Adblock, uh, Translator for Microsoft Edge is cool. There's an Office Online one if you have the uh, Microsoft Office installed and so on. And more extensions are coming. And each extension, of course, has its own settings and uh, its own buttons you can show the button for some of these extensions in the taskbar also so basically when you turn on a uh, an option so like adblock plus for example turn on i can say show button in the address bar and here it's up there right there in the corner so extensions are now available and um, that i hopefully is gonna change the course of microsoft edge usage um, you know, I like Edge. I've been using it a lot. Where I don't use it is when it's better to use another browser. Usually I use Google Chrome if I don't use Edge. But uh, with all of that coming and the fact that uh, these extensions are also kind of uh, Chrome compatible. So these are kind of a variant of Chrome compatible extensions. So it's pretty cool. Basically, um, you'll have something. Um, you know, Pretty much every extension will eventually be converted somehow to uh, the Microsoft Edge browser. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And hopefully you enjoy our look at anniversary update features that will be available for everybody um, August 2nd, 2016.